So I know it's been forever since we've made what I would call a main video on this channel. And while I hope you're enjoying the Ram Show, I think it's time for us to make another main video. So today's video is kind of an impromptu video just because I've realized that we haven't really made anything on this channel in terms of, again, what I would call a main video. So we're going to change that today. And the first thing we need to do is grab our bag right here. Now this is my tech bag. I will be going through what is in this tech bag in another video, but today's video well, we're gonna need something out of this bag for it. So we'll go ahead and open this up real quick. And in one of the pockets here is this right here. So this right here is my 250 gigabyte external hard drive. But this hard drive has something that's a little unique about it. So uh, if I could do this right here. It's actually in a couple different pieces. So there's a top, there is a bottom, and there's the actual drive inside of it. So this drive right here, inside of here, is actually a hard drive that came out of one of the laptops that I own. Now this is a 250 gigabyte mechanical hard drive. I believe it's 250 gigabytes. Yep, 250 gigabytes. Uh, a Seagate drive right here. And this was originally in my HP Pro uh, HP ProBook 4510S, uh, which was my very first laptop. Uh, actually, not my very first laptop that I ever owned, but my very first laptop that was like actually a legit computer that didn't suck. Anyway, uh, when I got it, it originally shipped with. I'm gonna say it, Windows Vista. And we all know how Zach feels about Windows Vista. But Windows Vista. Windows Vista. And I pretty much feel about the same way. So anyway, uh, what happened was is that uh, I had a whole bunch of problems with Windows Vista with my system deciding to crash a bunch of times and getting blue screens and yeah, all that fun stuff with Windows Vista. Anyway, so I had this old hard drive sitting around and I didn't really have anything to do with it. So what I decided was, was that I was going to format this drive, which there will be a video coming out on how to format a drive the, shall we say, correct way? Uh, soon, hopefully. But anyway, I went ahead and formatted this drive down to nothing, uh, reinitialized it, and uh, purchased a case for it. And uh, now I can use this as an external hard drive. And I'm going to show you just how easy this is to do. So once you have your drive, and even if you don't have one like sitting around, if you want to go out to the store and buy a drive, it's as simple as doing that as well. All you have to do is format it and uh, get it set up with all the uh, permissions that you want. I believe this one is formatted as NTFS, uh, or at least it should be. And uh, basically, yeah, so all this is is now a drive that I can store stuff on. So uh, let's show you how to put it together real quick. So this is super simple right here. So inside here, you can see the little uh, portion where uh, the pins are going to connect so all you do is, uh, let's see if I can angle this correctly here. You're going to uh, take your drive, pop it into the enclosure, push it back, it'll click in, and then should fit snugly in there. You're gonna take the other half of the case, line it up correctly, and snap it into place. There you go, you have a external hard drive. 
Now what you need is a cable. Now this enclosure that I purchased actually came with an or uh, came with a uh, included cable uh, to be able to power it. Uh, but give me just a second here. I'm gonna go back to our trusty uh, tech bag here, and uh, hopefully, nope, that one is uh, Apple. Ah, here we go. It's the right one. So uh, I have my uh, micro, or excuse me, not micro, mini USB to USB cable right here. And uh, all you do simply is uh, just plug it in, plug the other end into your computer, and you're totally good to go. As long as you have this all formatted correctly and stuff like that. Anyway, that's how you can take your old hard drives and revive them. It works with uh, laptop hard drives, it works with SSDs, it works with um, the full height drives. Um, if you have one of those, uh, all you have to do is get an enclosure for it. Uh, you can pick them up at the store, I've seen them at Best Buy, um, or probably the best option, order them online. I think this one was relatively cheap, uh, maybe 20 bucks at most, uh, I think. Uh, but really they're, they're not that expensive and they're a lot cheaper than buying an external hard drive if you already have a hard drive sitting around. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and now you have a use for your old hard drives that are just sitting around. If you liked the video, a big thumbs up rating would be awesome. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let us know what we can do differently down below in the comments section. Also leave any comments questions or anything like that down there as well. I'll try to answer your questions for you if you have them. I hope you enjoyed this video once again. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content that we produce. And we'll see you next time right here on Deck Beam.